Well, I think, as you see, with the overall group sales up 7%, uh, we've seen strong trading pretty much across the board. And this is continuing the theme of, um, you know, there being many great assets, great businesses in this in this company. I can highlight uh, our English language learning business, for example, our assessments and qualifications business, both posting strong results again for year to date and in Q3, our virtual learning business as, as well. So we're feeling very optimistic about um, uh, our performance to date and our prospects for the rest of the year. And with that um, in mind, can I ask you about the backdrop of UK politics here? Because it's been chaotic. We've seen the impact on gilts as well. How has it been even for a company like yours that's now well regarded by the market? So what does it mean when it comes to your debt and uh, some of the challenges you might be facing down the track? Um, I think, you know, clearly there's been an enormous amount of disruption in the markets uh, over the past few weeks. Um, uh, let us hope that uh, we can bring some stability uh, back to the markets and the, particularly the currency markets. Um, ironically, um, we're a beneficiary since we earn so much of our revenue in the U.S. Um, we uh, um, see a, a, a gain uh, as a result of the shift in the in the currency markets, and we'll be talking about that on our on our analyst call in a bit. Uh, but I think the overall theme is to try and hope we get a bit more stability into the markets. Um, I think that's uh, um, long overdue. Um, and the, a lot of lot of the um, business lines. It's clearly a gold star and an A plus, but it's a C minus still, isn't it, for higher education sales in the United States? How do you fix this business, or do you just gracefully let it run down? Well, I actually am encouraged by the um, enrollment numbers that came out. Um, as we said in our release, enrollment it seemed overall are down just over one percent this year which um, signals that more students are actually going back to college in the United States. And if you dig a little deeper, there's a real interesting trend happening, and that is the phenomenon in the U.S. where high school students, those students between 16 and 18, have the option to do what's known as dual enroll, where you can take a high school credit and also a college credit course. Um, sometimes you do that at high school, sometimes you do that at college. Those numbers, numbers of 16 to 18 year olds who were attending college, primarily community college, was up 12% to approximately 750,000 students. And that's a very good leading indicator because those students have a high prevalency to go on and do a full four year course at college and to attain graduation. So as we look at the pipeline going forward, I think now you're starting to see more students actually come back to uh, on-campus learning, which is, uh, can only be good for us. Uh, Andy, what do you think um, the... Uh